Hey there everyone, hope you're doing well, and with update 14, the arrival of British forces, in addition to taking a look at the maps, I want to give the new armor a spin, and so we're starting off with the British recon tank, the Humbar armor car, and uh, we'll see what we'll see what we can do here with this. I'm test driving this earlier, I forget what I got her up to, 31, 32, something like that, but trying to make our way up to the light tank we have. Alright, we're up to 30 now. I found that in the Humbar, for whatever reason, it has... It's more difficult to keep this thing on the road than the other tanks. And I, I have no explanation for that at all. It's, it's just what I found. Also, there doesn't seem to be a terribly big difference in speed whether you're on the road or, or off of it. So, uh, What this does do very well and we'll see if we have the opportunity to show it, is to drive up really steep elevations and just take those like a champ. It also did some really funky stuff in a test video I did for this where coming down, it looked like... It looked like it got stuck twice, but it just continued to fall. No, this is really demonstrating it well but yeah it, it's it's handy for, for this type of terrain where you have a lot of these jagged cliffs and uh, you just kind of need a, a good spotter to give you some sense as to where you're you're going here all right I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in our light before nope we can't so we got to go back to HQ and get ourselves a new light all right, and here we are with the British Light, the Tetrarch. I didn't talk too much about the gun on the recon tank because it's very similar to what the, the Tetrarch, the Light, has. Yeah, th th they're just really similar. So notice that here, unlike the American Stort, there is no hull gun. And so, yeah, I mean, that that is what it is not really more to that story but the, the main gun is also the two pounder which is the same as the recon tank has and that is a six second reload on both AP and on HE and you can see that driving around she gets pretty close but again it's a light so it's not going to get quite as fast as the recon uh, I forget in the testing I did before this what what I ended up being able to get her up to but it doesn't doesn't really matter uh, it looks like right now we're flirting with 27 28 I've not tried taking it up the uh, steep slopes that I did with the recon which really did seem like some pretty neat rally type physics but probably get it stuck. Uh, well, we can ping pong ourselves off. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's what she does. Again, I think it's the exact same armament as the, the Humbar. Uh, probably better armor. We haven't tested the shots yet. There we go. Crouching Tiger flying flying light tank and oh almost got got all the way around but yeah wow we are sliding all over the place this is fun I don't think we're gonna make it to the medium before it explodes I left it abandoned up here uh, if I didn't do this earlier I'll do it now do a flyby of our own grounded air force interesting to see if you can finagle your way into different parts of those those planes what are the physics like all right well, now, now I know now that that was odd I was just downshifting and I backed up so and I believe that was the sound of our medium tank which is the next <laughs> yeah the next one we we're supposed to look at uh, blowing up. So I'll have to go order another one of those. Alright, here's our medium, the Cromwell. 
all of her glory. The gun on this, so we, we have uh, the whole, I guess it's Beza or Besa gun. The gunner's gun is a 75 millimeter. The AP and the HE reload times, when I clocked them, they were both 8 seconds, which is standard. That was not, this is some bad driving on my part. Which is too bad, because when I was driving this earlier, it actually, it wasn't terrible. At least that was my, my sense. It was, it was good enough. Although driving on a desert map, it's not like driving on Hill 400. I think in testing it, we got up to 22, 23 was the max. And I'm not sure that I'll actually be able to do that again. Ah, we're up to 24. There was not a big difference also when I did this off-road or on-road. seemed to be pretty pretty comparable speeds. We'll see the uh, kind of landing strip for the airfield. Wow, this is... It is like driving a boat. I mean, I know I was asking for a lot. I'm also not the world's best tank driver. I, I know. Still working on it. I was a latecomer to the armor game. Alright. I was going to try to make my way towards the heavy, but I didn't get it in the heavy, so I don't think it should. Oh, wow. We got this up to 20, 26. It touched 26 for, like, the briefest of seconds. I saw it. I mean, it's a, it's a medium, but still. All right. Well, we can do 25 for sure, cruising speed. Ooh. Can we even do it in first? Yes. Give it to me. Go. I probably should have kept it. No, no, we're going to do this. We made it. Uh, oh, no, we did. I spoke too soon. Well, <laughs> it's not really what this video is supposed to be about, so uh, I won't spend too much more time trashing this uh, this Cromwell, but we will take a look at the, the Firefly. A lot of folks wanted to, to see that added in the game. They got their wish, and we'll see how it uh, pans out. Uh, but this is a bad idea. I haven't actually tested the Firefly. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll see what we get here, but we got the muzzle brake that we're used to seeing on 76s, the big yellow 13. So, there she is. And we're going to find out together what this is like. Oh my goodness. This is a heavy without a without a hull gun, or what I'll call a hull gun. All right, there better be some compensation on the, the top end for that. All right, armor piercing, we got 35 rounds. HE, we got 30 rounds. Coaxial, 1919. Uh... Huh. All right. I don't think the speeds would be different for HE. No, they don't seem to be. All right. Um, a heavy without a hull gun. Huh. Okay. I mean, considering the light also doesn't have it, I guess they don't have to worry about running out of ammunition. Let's see what we can get her up to when we get her out on the, uh, if we can get her up to the airfield. Wow, this is, are we like levitating over the road? What is this?
probably gonna crash this. Get it stuck. Whoa. All right, let's see what we can get her up to. 20, 22, 23, was flirting with. It does cost, by the way, if you're wondering about cost, it costs 600 fuel. The medium is 250, uh, standard stuff. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Well, turning isn't super great in fourth. Honestly, this feels like it turns better than the medium. All right, this is gonna be it. Are we really, is this it? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe this is it, maybe, I. I thought we got it up to 23 before, but I guess we're just stuck here at 21. Huh. All right, well, that's that. We have uh, other stuff we can do. All right, I'm not sure what this video would be if I didn't try to also shoot all this new armor that we have. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. I wonder if hitting the spare tire... No, it doesn't, doesn't save the humbar. All right, and that be the, uh, I think I put the Tetrarch down there. Pretty sure. Well, one shot's the Tetrarch in, in the side. All right, here we are behind the uh, medium, and it, I just realized that they put something on there that almost perfectly lines up with the Panther's sights. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Yep! <laughs> I would say if you try to put that triangle on the one the, the Brits put there for you, you should do okay. Alright, and this is us behind the Firefly. Yeah, no surprises there. Uh, we'll dump this panther, and we'll spawn stuff back in on the British side with whatever time is left after I move the panther to a spot where we can shoot it. All right, we're in the firefly. The panther's giving us the backside. We'll see what we can do. All right, it's two shots. All right, folks, well, that is going to do it for the British armor test. It seems like uh, British armor more or less kind of fits into how they've decided to balance armor uh, in a previous update, and, and so that's that's kind of what we're left with. Uh, we'll see what other secrets are to be found out and uh, whether there are any changes to that moving forward.